Thank you. Also developing tonight, a family picks up the pieces after a fire destroyed one of their restaurants. 12 News journalist Adriana Loya spoke to the owner of Taco Mitch, who's just grateful that none of her employees were hurt. As people were waking up to gifts from Santa on Christmas Day. We woke up to this bad news. Taco Mitch erupting into flames. It was tragic news to us. The fire breaking out just before 5 in the morning at the Mexican fast food restaurant near 59th Avenue, south of Bethany Home. My first question was, where are the employees? You know, because we had employees working at the moment. Daisy Segura's mother owns the restaurant. She says two employees were inside when the fire sparked. They believe it started in a fryer they bought five months ago. That morning, an employee emptied out the oil, cleaned it and dried it out before adding new oil and turning it on. Dice que tenía como media hora prendida cuando se generó el incendio dentro y en la parte de atrás. The employees calling 911, the fire quickly spreading, crews arriving to flames coming out of the roof as smoke was billowing out of the building. The employees made it out safely, but the restaurant destroyed. The kitchen shard with a massive hole on the roof. Prácticamente tuvo pérdida total el lugar. Angelica González has owned the franchise for 21 years, first starting as an employee, growing two locations into five across the valley. This one damaged by the fire going on 10 years. De aquí viven muchas familias. This blaze is the first time the family-run business endured a loss like this. This is what we live from. This is what our employees live from. So we are um, just thankful because something really bad could have happened. They are just thankful no one was hurt. Pues me da tristeza, pero pues digo, pues son cosas que pasan, son accidentes. Fire investigators here Friday still determining the official cause. This is not going to stop you guys. Of course not. No, this is going to keep on going. As the insurance companies work out the details on fixing the damages, the owner tells me starting the new year, she will have a food truck here to continue serving its loyal customer base. In Glendale, Adriana Loya, 12.